Hi, I'm CJ Elmberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. We have got a big, big Cimarron living quarters here that we're going to walk you through. This is an unbelievably built trailer. It's got a lot of customization to it. We really want to bring it to you and show you some different options on it. This is an order for a customer, but as we get it in here, going through the shop, getting it ready for the customer, we're going to go ahead and video it because we want to show you a lot of extras on this trailer to maybe give you some ideas, show you some different things that we can do on some of these builds. So it is a 2022 Cimarron. This is a Lone Star model, and, and I'll explain why as we're walking through that trailer. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing. I want to show you some specs on this trailer before we really get into it. It is 39 three inches on the floor. So 39.3 on the floor, we're eight foot wide, we're seven, seven tall. In the stall area, we can put four head of horses on there or we can convert it to more of a stock trailer, which we'll show you. It's 21.6 on that long wall, it's 17.6 on that short wall. So that's the dimensions of that stall area. And then on the LQ side, we have a 17.9 short wall with an 11 foot slide out in it. Now this is an outlaw conversion. Fantastic trailer. Again, we're gonna walk you through all the different specs, all the different options, all the different customization that this customer did on this trailer. This was a, a great process. It was fun to sit down with them. Um, we went to their place, that they're local. So we were able to go to them. They came to us a couple times. They went down to outlaw, picked out all these colors and the finishing touches on this trailer. So it's a really beautiful trailer that again, we wanted to show you. Now, as we start talking about this, let's talk about a couple things. Cimarron, all aluminum construction, outlaw conversion. So when we start looking at warranty side of this trailer, you have an eight year structure, three year hardware from Cimarron, and then you combine it with outlaws three year warranty as well. Now, this is the only trailer on the market that you can go hitch to bumper and everything is covered for three years. There are some conversion companies that offer three-year craftsmanship warranties, but on appliances, generator, those type items, they only offer you a one year, and, and mainly that's kind of working off of the actual manufacturer of those appliances, their warranty. But if Outlaw puts it on, you're covered for three. So this is a three-year covered warranty trailer. You also have 24-7, 365 available uh, service with Outlaw. You can pick up the phone, call them, somebody will answer, walk you through stuff, help you out from that standpoint. So a lot of stuff on this. Air ride suspension, triple axle. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, very first thing, underneath the gooseneck here, I've got it opened up, but because this trailer is a slide out, you'll notice the dual jacks. Anytime we get in these really big trailers, anything with a slide, we're gonna go ahead and put dual jacks on them. These are electric over hydraulic. So if you do get in emergency situations, you have the ability to do a manual pump off or off the truck. Um, that's a really nice standpoint and a nice uh, feature that they offer with that equalizer jack. You'll notice this enclosed front end as well. I've got it rolled up so we can just kind of see all the components we're working with back here. Uh, we also have electric over hydraulic brakes on here. So we've got the ability from, from the hydraulic fluid standpoint up above the jack there. Uh, if we get in a situation where we have an issue where we can have to physically push the slide in manually, it's real simple. You pop a couple of these valves and then just push that in. Spare tires located above that. A lot going on over here. So we have an aluminum battery box that's gonna house all our house batteries. You see them labeled, one, two, three. And then our fourth battery over here to the right is our air ride suspension battery. Everything is labeled extremely well. Outlaw does an unbelievable job as far as that's concerned. You know what you're looking for. You know how to find it. It's real simple to get in here and find those type of, of uh, lines that you might need, wiring you might need. Uh, sometimes if you can't bring it to our shop or some other shop like that, that you know, they work on motorhomes, work on campers, uh, they can get on the phone with Outlaw and Outlaw can say, hey, go look for this. Here's where it's at. Everything's labeled really easily there. Another battery, or excuse me, another aluminum box below the battery box there. It's going to house two 30 pound LP bottles. We did the expanded metal floor on this one here. So it is, it's not sealed in, but 
you have that expanded metal, you could set a few items down there if you had to. And one of the last things over here to the right on driver's side is our onboard compressor for our air ride suspension. You don't have to have air coming from your vehicle, anything like that. This compressor is right here. It's all self-contained. Very simple to use. On off, raise lower, and then we've got a drain valve. Now we've done some walkthrough videos on how to operate that. Very quick uh, videos. If you're interested in those, we can send you those, how to operate it and how to shut it down properly. But it's very easy to use. You turn it on and off and you drive it. Anytime you're towing this trailer, you want the air on and you want it in the raised position. Now, if you get in emergency situations or we have the compressor, have an issue, have a line, a bag, leaking air, uh, this trailer will set down on rubber torsion axles with a shock kit. This is a system that Dexter has come up with. So if you get in those type of scenarios, you can still move this trailer. Old air ride systems, you couldn't move the trailer. You were stuck, not on this one here. This enclosed roll up door in this front end here is awesome because if you're driving in winter months, any type of weather, anything like this, it's gonna keep everything back there nice and clean. We're not getting that road debris. We're not getting snow buildup this time of the year. Uh, I think this gives it a nice sleeker finish look as well. The other thing too, is there is some benefit to it when towing. You know, you get in these bigger front ends, as the wind comes around your truck, it actually kind of hits that front end of that trailer. It can kind of trap it and almost make it kind of like a parachute for you. So this is a, a nice finished look to the trailer. And again, it has some benefits. Couple things underneath here is you've got this tube underneath that's gonna store our hose for our, our uh, tanks, our gray and black tank. So you got a place for that to store. Like I showed you that expanded metal, I'd recommend carrying some nice disposable gloves. That way, if you're dumping tanks, it's real easy to reach in there, grab a couple, do what you need to, put it away, throw those, those gloves away. That's a great place to keep those. There's also a light underneath here, a 16 inch awning light. Your cargo light on your trucks is gonna get blocked typically by the front end. You'll get a little bit of light coverage, but if you're doing anything under here, swapping tanks, maybe you're having to get this hose out, it's dark, you have some light coverage underneath here as well. The other thing about these hydraulic jacks is they're on an individual switch as well. So if you're not 100% square underneath the truck, you can kind of work those legs and kind of walk the trailer over if you have to. Now, because of the enclosed front end, a standard Cimarron neck is eight foot too long. But anytime we do this enclosure, we'll go to a nine foot. There are other scenarios where we'll go nine six on the length of this actual neck itself. You'll notice frameless windows on this. That became standard on the 22 models. It's a good, sleek, finished, clean look to the trailer. If you wanna go back to the older style, we can do that, but this is now standard moving forward. Now, when we get to this LQ, a couple things. We, they extended the uh, extrusion all the way to the neck. Again, I think it gives it a good look to the trailer. And then once we get into this LQ, they upgraded to this big heavy duty Challenger door. Now we can do some heavy duty doors from Cimarron itself, but I really like this for LQs. Again, it's got a big paddle latch on it. One of the biggest benefits in my opinion is gonna be this heavy duty screen door. Look, we all like screen doors as far as in these LQs. I know a lot of people travel with, with pets, having their dogs, you know, instead of having the um, sliding screen door, it's a little bit lighter weight if a dog hits it or somebody hits it. Um, you know, it could push out the actual screen itself, but on this, this has this expanded metal on the lower portion, even with kids, if you got them traveling with you. But I really like this heavy duty door. Uh, it is a nice upgrade. It, um, believe me, it's well worth the, one, the money itself. But again, the operation with the big handle, that big screen door is really, really nice. Now, as we jump into this, I'll point out a couple things. Very first thing is this is RVI certified. So. Outlaw Conversions has an RVI certification on every single trailer. You can go to any national park, any public, private campgrounds, you're gonna meet everything for electrical, plumbing, heating, fire safety, in general, as far as the, the requirements to plug in somewhere, or go to those type of, those places. They're the last standing RVI certified conversion company out there on the market today. They're also certified green. Uh, again, Outlaw really stands behind the product. You'll notice too, this little sticker right here, this is equipped with Wi-Fi. So you can get a SIM card, plug it in. You can actually, it'll boost your Wi-Fi too. If you've got some uh, 
public Wi-Fi available to you. It'll boost that. This is a great place to work out of. I know that they're going to spend a lot of time in here and do a lot of their work on the road in this trailer. And that was one of the big components is to be able to put the Wi-Fi on this trailer. Now let's go into this LQ. We got a lot to cover in here as well. This is an absolutely beautiful trailer. Again, the customers went down, did all the, the final pieces, picking out colors for the trailer itself um, with Outlaw, with one of our reps. Like I mentioned, 17.9 short wall on this, 11 foot slide out. So you're gonna notice in the slide, we got a lot going on. Very first thing is you're gonna notice the dinette. So that will break down into a bed. So we have a sleeping area there, but that's again, probably gonna be a, a, the hub for them doing their work you know, on their computer from right here. You've got that table up. And the, and the reason why is because a lot of people like those dinettes for that standpoint, um, but also like the benefits of sofas. So there is an additional sofa in here. But again, you've got an extra sleeping area if you need to. A lot of overhead cabinetry right there. You're gonna notice above that. The other thing are these pull-out drawers. We like doing this on some of our inventory. This is a really good place for either additional, maybe food you're carrying with you or bedding. You know, like I said, this will break down into a bed. So you could put some bedding right there in these slide out drawers underneath that dinette. Now the kitchen is in the slide out on this one. That's why we have this 11 foot slide out. Again, a lot of stuff going on here. Overhead cabinetry here. We've got the convection oven. Um, that is definitely nice to be, if you're on the road for a long time, to be able to do that side of it, do a convection oven part, jump over to microwave as well. Now, kitchen area, nice big deep sink here with the cover, so you have a lot of counter space, a recessed two burner cooktop, again with the cover, so you have a lot of counter again. And you're gonna notice the depth of this. And the reason why is because we have this kitchen in the slide out, back underneath over here, when we get to the outside of this on the, uh, the slide out, when we get outside, it's gonna house an LP bottle underneath there for this cooktop. So we have our LP to run the rest of the trailer, but this LP is isolated just to this cooktop. Uh, because we have this in the slide out, we need to actually house that in there. The other thing that they put back there is a smaller just kind of just waste basket. That way you can have it hidden. Again, additional counter space, somewhere to throw that. We'll continue with the kitchen part of it with this refrigerator. This is a 10-0 refrigerator freezer setup with the ice maker. That's what you get when you jump into the 10-0. Again, they're gonna be on the road for some time. They wanna be able to carry a lot of food with them, have the ability to make some ice. Definitely a nice upgrade as far as that's concerned there. Like I mentioned, sofa. So we have the dinette, we have the sofa over. This is the Weston style uh, couch. This folds down into a bed as well. So we have dinette sleeping area, couch sleeping area, and then you're gonna notice this overhead cabinetry as well. So we have some overhead cabinets, and then this will also double as an additional fold down drop bunk. So if we think about it, we're gonna have our gooseneck that we'll show you here in a minute, but we've got our gooseneck, we've got a sofa that folds down, we've got a dinette that slides down into a bed, and then we've got the bunk bed up above. And if you need to, you just take out the cushions. You can find somewhere at home to leave those if you're not gonna be using it. And then you're gonna have that additional storage up above there. But when you get into this big slide out, it really opens up this entire just living space of this trailer. So up above towards the front of the trailer here, a lot of overhead cabinets, additional cabinet here, adjustable shelves. Then you've got your entertainment center. So you've got your TV right here. These are also smart TVs because of the Wi-Fi capable of the trailer. We like doing the, the smart TVs because, hey, a lot of people are streaming in today's world. Let's have the ability to do that. So we've got this smart TV here. And then once you get up into the gooseneck area, you're gonna have an additional TV up there as well. And that is gonna be a smart TV that's gonna go along with it. 
but you've got some cabinets up ahead as well. Comes with the Outlaw Flex mattress, a memory foam mattress. You're also going to notice all the ductwork as you're as you're looking up into the ceiling. You know, the ductwork makes a massive difference. I mean, granted, we have multiple ACs, we've got big furnace in here, but to be able to manipulate and keep airflow consistent throughout this entire living quarters really helps from just a comfort level of sitting in the trailer, sleeping up in the nose, um, being able to isolate where you want air to go. If you want it to go all throughout the cabin itself, you can do that. Uh, but you can, you know, like I tell some people is, hey, maybe you want to force a little bit more air to the living quarters, a little bit more air up into the nose. You don't need as much into the bathroom. You can go ahead and shut those down, turn that air where you want it. But that makes a big difference. They did a great job on picking colors. They did some of the barn wood accent throughout the trailer on this pocket door so they get a little bit of privacy up there in the nose. You'll also have a pocket door. I'll go ahead and open it so I can show that to you before we jump into the bathroom area here. But again, it really ties really well into the trailer. The pocket doors are nice because then you don't have to, you know, physically step around a door going in and out. And then as we get into this bathroom, a lot of space here. I'm just going to step through here so we can see all the different things. This, these are nice too to have these pass through doors because they can double as a mudroom for you. You can hop in through the escape door, kick off some dirty clothes, dirty boots, step right in here to the bathroom. Ton of space in here for storage. Double clothes rods here in this closet. Additional clothes rod in this closet. They did some pull out drawers. You don't see as many pull out drawers. We just usually don't have a lot of space for them, but in this trailer we do. Unbelievably deep sink on this one. This is awesome for a bathroom. You know, you have a lot of counter space, but a lot of, uh, a lot of people want a deeper sink, a little bit bigger. This one has it. You've got your bathroom vanity. The toilet with the wood and the accent leather. Behind it is gonna be some additional, additional closet with some shelves. Again, those are all adjustable, which is really handy to just be able to manipulate your storage any way you want by having everything adjustable. And then our radius shower that's going to be tucked into that corner. You've got your skylight. It's going to let, let in a lot of natural lighting. If you're a little bit taller, it gives you a little bit more space, a little more headroom. But again, in this bathroom, you know, one thing that I, I tell people is put a lot of emphasis on is, you know, to be able to use the toilet or stand in front of the actual bathroom vanity and not have to hover over or stand or kind of lean over a toilet. Everything's right there. You can actually stand in front of that vanity, get ready, you have space, a lot of storage in there. So again, you can hop in from that stall area as a, as a mudroom and jump right into there. But again, as you can see the colors that they picked out, this turned out extremely, extremely well. This is a very well put together trailer. I commend them on, on doing a good job on picking out the colors and the, the team at Outlaw for helping out with that as far as that's concerned. But this craftsmanship is unbelievable the hardwood cabinetry they do a great job down there and then, then like i mentioned about that warranty you know really standing behind the product and again teaming up with cimarron and offering that type of a setup as far as warranty it's really nice before we head out one thing you're going to notice is you've got a hat rack so you can house two hats right up here up out of the way and then you've got your onboard generator controls right here are slide out. We've got wine guard on here, so you do satellite as well. Awning switch, so this is an electric awning, which is awesome to be able to push a button and out it goes and then, and then it can retract as well. There is some courtesy lights underneath there. There's a strip of LED lights underneath there. The aluminum cover is fantastic. 
We're big, big advocates of that. And the reason why is a lot of older trailers will come in possibly on trade and we'll say, hey, can you just roll out about the first couple feet of that awning? Because that'll tell us everything. A lot of times the UV rays will just eat those awnings alive. They get real, really uh, frail and brittle and they'll just break up over time. We can actually see through the awning from the bottom side, but having that aluminum protective uh, piece on there is really gonna just help, you know, give that awning a lot of longevity and holding up over time. You've got some exterior speakers, additional lights, some courtesy lights down low. There is an exterior plug-in up here at the front as well, so you do have some exterior power if you'd like to. But having the courtesy lights, I mean, you know you're gonna be coming to this trailer in the dark or doing some stuff out here. It's nice to have that light coverage. They also upgraded and did an LP line. They ran an LP line from those LP tanks up front right here so they can take a little portable grill if they want plug that in and have the ability to just kind of cook and kind of barbecue right out here and enjoy this awning the exterior speakers um, you'll find a lot of people sitting outside their trailers if they if they've got a little bit of time at a at an event now let's work back into the trailer side of it again this is a lone star model these folks want to be able to haul horses and they want to be able to haul some show cattle so once we get into the stall area, we're gonna really show you why it's set up the way it is. So that's the model we went with because we went with the stock sides and plexiglass. Again, triple axle air ride. So we have three 8,000 pound axles underneath here. Again, this is air ride suspension. Believe me, once you have an air ride trailer, you are not gonna to wanna to go back. It makes a massive difference on the way this trailer pulls but more importantly, the ride for the animals. It is a game changer. You can cut time off. You know, a lot of times some customers will have to leave an extra day early to give their horses or their cattle a little bit of rest. You can cut some of that off. I mean, we've heard people say you can actually take them from the trailer and go to the ring and they're ready to go compete. Uh, this also has electric over hydraulic brakes, so a lot of stopping power. 17, in, 17 and a half inch aluminum wheels, 18 ply continental tires. So really good running gear underneath this trailer with the stopping power with those electric over hydraulic brakes. Amber turn signal here in the middle. We've been putting that on a lot of bigger trailers, a lot of living quarters, eight foot wide. Works as a great additional marker light. Uh, it also will flash. You know, if you put your right blinker on this one will flash. The same with the driver's side. When you break, it'll indicate, but you know, I mean, we're talking 39 foot on the floor. This is a big trailer. So by giving people the ability to say, hey, this trailer's trying to come over, you know, we again have been like, like to put that on. It's a very small option to put on. It's about a $150 option for it. But we are starting to do it a lot. And a lot of customers when they're building trailers want it as well for those purposes. Exterior tie rings. And then you're gonna notice this airliner track here as well. So this airliner track is that way they can actually take some different panels or chutes. They can actually secure them to the side of the trailer. Those are adjustable. So you see that quite a bit um, on these trailers in today's world. On those two rows of air gaps up top there, there's a, as you can see, obviously we have the plexiglass, but on every Cimarron stock trailer, that track's already built into that extrusion. So you can actually add plexiglass to a trailer, even if we have one sitting here on the lot that doesn't have it, or you have one and you want to add it to it, that can be done. But we can take all that plexiglass out and there's a place for it to all store so we can keep it nice and secure. An additional 16 inch awning light there. Again, a lot of lights. I showed you the, the couple up towards the front of the LQ underneath the awning itself and then there's an additional one right here it's centered in this area where more than likely you're going to tie some horses maybe tie some calves out type of a scenario having that light coverage is nice you've got the button led lights as well that became standard they put out a lot of light not a big power draw and then as we top off the trailer you're going to notice that is the eight foot hay pot up there that'll house 10 to 12 bales of hay up there just to kind of depending on the size of bales you run and then at the back, as we start working towards the back of the trailer, behind that pod is actually gonna be our generator box. It's gonna house a Onan 7000 gas generator. 
because of the size of the LQ on this one, running the dual ACs with the 50 amp service, we need a little bit bigger generator. So we opt and like to go with the 7K just for the having the power and being able to do everything you want as far as that's concerned. Now the stall area, again, this is a really unique setup. They opted for the dual 50-50 doors on an eight foot wide. You can do the dual 50-50. We can do a 60-40 setup if you want. On the left-hand door, you're gonna notice the blanket pole rack. That's on a gas shock, so it swings out. Put your blankets, your pads on there, swing it back in, brush tray below there. Great for smaller items. And then in this folding rear tack, we have a removable saddle post, four tier. These are adjustable. If you wanted to add more blanket poles to this, to this post or additional saddle racks, you can do that. But you can adjust those by loosening the nuts, slide them where you want, tighten them back up. Now on this folding rear tack, this is a six, six deep on this driver's side folding rear tack. And again, I told you that they wanted this trailer to be versatile from the standpoint of being able to haul horses and then flip it and haul show cattle. We can remove this post. We built it deeper so they can come in with their upright show box, set it in here, and then you'll notice more of that airliner track on that wall. So then they can put some hooks on there, secure that, that upright box in there. But we wanted that depth and that width off the wall. That's why we did the 50-50 the rear doors on this one but then they can run that in there and there's a lot more storage in there when they are wanting to run some show cattle. Or if they want, they can collapse it down and slide this over against the wall itself. Rear ramp, again, it's gonna make a world of difference when we wheel that upright box up here or loading cattle or even loading those horses in here. So this back stall is nice and big because again, we needed a little bit more length back here in this folding rear tack. So we added some length here. So this last stall here for the last horse is, is gonna be a lot. This is set up as a four horse. I'm gonna say that you could squeeze a fifth horse on here very easily because of this depth here. But if you look, we got a lot going on in here. So you're gonna notice, this looks more like a gate, but it's, it's their divider with the air flows Full divider goes all the way up and over the hip of the horse. This guy here will come over to the wall. Now I'm gonna snap it shut. And I know some people will say, well, you know, they, they typically run with the heavy duty springs at the bottom, so it actually pulls towards driver's side. Yes, that is true. But in this instance here, because again, they're wanting to maybe haul some show cattle now and then, this whole divider can come out of this trailer. So we can't put the spring at the bottom, but what it has, it has the AR latches that Cimarron builds. This is a two person job because of the length and the size of it, but we can unpin this top and bottom and out the trailer it can go. And now we have one big massive stall back here behind it. Ahead of it is gonna be an actual cut gate this is gonna be more of the standard. This one does have the spring because this one here is fixed. This one's not gonna leave. This one's gonna stay in, but it's gonna match the slant part of this trailer and the partition walls. Um, but you've got the center gate. So again, if they wanna isolate, maybe they wanna haul a couple heifers, a pair, a bull with them, maybe some steers, anything like that, they can pull those off. And then again, ahead of it is an additional divider that's set up just like the back one that we just opened up for you. And it stays open as well when you snap it back, airflow on it, full divider. So really they kind of have three full stud dividers in this setup. There's that first stall. There's that pass-through door I was telling you about that you can hop right in. Directly above it is gonna be the storage tray for that plexiglass in the air gaps I was showing you. They went ahead and put light switches at the pass-through door and then through the escape door as well. That way, when they come into the stall area from the side or through there, they can just reach up and hit that light. But again, you can put your storage, your plexiglass up there in your storage tray. You've got some two-way roof vents so we can really manipulate airflow. Then there's this 
this track you see over to the right hand side. So over here on passenger side, that track, as we get to the back here, you'll notice it has two of these brackets back here. Well, they can actually go ahead and put a couple fans in here. So again, if they're hauling cattle, they can put the fans up there. There's outlets on that top rail. So they have power so they can slide those fans where they want. You know, typically in our, in our show cattle trailers, they're usually low profile, you know, six, four tall. Some guys like to go six, eight, but this one being seven, seven, they can actually get those fans up a little bit higher, possibly even use a larger fan. We usually have to use a 12 inch fan on those type of scenarios on those low pros, because we just don't have the height to have those hand, those fans hang down. To where in this instance, they could run a 24 inch fan if they'd like, or they could just go with a 12 inch, maybe a little bit easier to use. But again, they can slide it up and down that rail, lock them in where they want. And again, they've got the plugins for that. And then you'll notice the LED lights, because it is again, more set up as a four horse, you're gonna notice four LED lights. Those are the OptiBright, the big clear lenses. They put out a ton of light, um, not a big power draw again, just like those uh, marker lights we saw on the outside. And then with it being a Lone Star, they went ahead and capped it off with the kick mat all the way around because they will be hauling some horses now and then. Tapered the fenders. That's something we do on our steer walt models as well. Um, but, you know, again, really good setup in here. A lot of versatility. I'm going to kind of get a couple of these guys out of the way here. So I want to show you a couple other things. If you noticed, between these build outs here over this wheel well, you're gonna notice this tie rail. So again, if they're hauling show cattle, they've got the ability to go ahead and tie them down right there. They've, there's an upper tie rail as well, tie rings up above. They just wanted to be able to have that flexibility for whatever they're doing. And this is a scenario too, where maybe they want to haul a couple head of horses and a couple show calves. This is the ideal setup as far as that's concerned. Last thing we'll talk about in here is two things that have a ton of importance and just the overall just construction and strength of this trailer. This floor we're standing on is the industry's best floor. It is a 12 inch deck. It locks in high and low tongue and groove. More importantly, four inch centers. Wherever they're gonna have a horse or a show calf standing in here, they're standing on a support beam all over this floor. From front to back, those beams are every four inches. That makes a massive difference in the strength of this trailer. Not to say they're not gonna have to pull mats and clean it, but if they take care of it, this trailer will last them as long as they want. And then the last piece is the insulated roof. That's standard on all Cimarron's as well. Doesn't matter what model, what size of trailer, bumper pull or big LQ like this, they're all gonna have that roof right there. It has an R3 thermal value. It's gonna keep this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. You come to our lot on a 95, 100 degree day in the summer on this asphalt and you come in at the end of the day, we'll take you to one trailer that's all sealed up with an aluminum roof and then we'll take you to a Cimarron and you will tell the difference when you step foot in the trailer just in how the temperature feels in there. And we're putting our animals in there. We want them to be as comfortable as possible. And by having that roof and that, again, keeping that stall area nice and cool, it's gonna make a big difference in their comfort level actually traveling. Now over here on driver's side, more of that airliner track, more of those hooks. There's also the fuel fill for that 7,000 gas gen Onan right there. So it's all on driver's side. So you can fuel your pickup up, pull up to the pump and top that off with gas. On the rear door, there is our ladder getting up into the actual uh, hay pot area up there to the generator. And then here is, again, our triple axle air ride. We do have this trailer aired up right now. So when it lowers, it'll drop the trailer about two and a half inches. So anytime you're loading, unloading horses, cattle, or the equipment, we tell people, go ahead and lower it because now the trailer's lower to the ground, our back step isn't as big, steps into the LQ, into the stall area aren't as, as big, and then also it changes the angle of our ramp. That ramp is gonna be a lot steeper when it's aired up. So if we lower it, it's gonna drop that and change that angle of that rear ramp as you're loading and unloading. 
But there's a couple different things I want to show you right here. So if you watched a lot of our videos and talk, you heard us talk about these triple axle air rides, we talk about an air dump that TransWest exclusively does. Now, on this air dump, in the past we've done it on the rear axle, moving the pivot point from the center axle to between the first and second axle. That back axle will just, it doesn't physically pick the tire up off the ground, but it allows it to just skate. If you've ever watched a triple axle turn in really tight quarters, you're gonna notice everything's fighting each other. Everything's trying to go different directions. So it puts a lot of stress on the sidewall of the tire, the hubs, the axles, everything. So what we've done is we put an air dump on them. Now on this one here and a couple that we've done here recently, we've put the air dump on the first axle. Well, why did we do that? Yes, it moves our pivot point back to here, which is a little bit farther away from the truck, but we've taken weight and shifted it actually to the truck. You're really only using this in really tight turns, you know, scenarios where you have to really crank this trailer around. So it's okay, let's move that weight off the trailer, off of the axles and off of the tires and put a little bit more to the, the truck itself. Again, this one's just gonna skate and we can turn this around more like a tandem and not put as much stress on that third axle, whichever one it is, the first or the back, it doesn't matter. You watch them and they will fight each other. Puts a lot more tire scrub. You'll notice it eats away at the, the sidewalls uh, right at this breaking point on tires and those triple axles because they do want to turn. And again, you come onto asphalt when it's that hot and those tires are hot, there's no give. So it really wants to dig in. But I will show you when we get up to the front, we're going to come back to that. So keep that in mind. But as we get forward, again, there's that escape door going into that stall area. Same thing, tie rail low tie rail high step going in there as well so it makes that transaction transition really easy going in and out of the trailer itself uh, again right now it's aired up a little bit here's that slide out and there's that LP bottle I was telling you about so again it's housed right here in the slide out on this louver door but again that one just goes to that kitchen area that frameless window awning on top of it. So again, we're not allowing moisture, trying to get back into it because when you have a slide out, it can't be 100% sealed. Now, there's this little indicator light right here. And it is very important because it is gonna go to our remote. You're gonna have this remote fob on your keys in your pickup. And what you can do is you can sit there in your pickup and hit this button on and that light is going to flash at you. And the reason why is we just activated the air dump on this trailer. It is now shifting the weight from that first axle to the back two. So again, we can now turn this around like a tandem axle rather than a triple. We've gone to the pulsating light, so it flashes, so it just catches your eye a little bit more. We used to do this light as one big solid, but we wanted it just to be foolproof, just, hey, this thing's on. Again, you need to be aware of it. You need to be conscious of where this thing lives so it doesn't get bumped. Because what happens is if this gets bumped and you're rolling 75, 80 miles an hour down the road and you hit the brakes hard with these big electric over hydraulic brakes, there's no resistance on that. So it can really flat spot a tire really quickly. So I just tell people, just have this somewhere where it's kind of out of the way. It's not going to get bumped, but it's somewhere close to where the driver can reach over, grab it, turn it on, they can see it from their rear view mirror on the side, know that it's activated. Again, you're just gonna mainly use it in these type of scenarios where you really turn around in tight quarters or backing this in somewhere. But the compressor kicked on because it's compensating for all that weight we just put to those back two. And then all I do is I hit off and it turns it off. Here in a second, that compressor is gonna kick back on because we're shifting that weight now back to that first axle. So very simple system to use and it's fantastic to be able to get one of these big trailers that's always been the knock is i love the way my triple axle pulls but boy it's really hard and it's really hard on it to turn around in really tight areas this eliminates that and this really will you'll benefit from that those tires will last longer the entire system just works incredibly well so again a lot on this i hope i didn't miss anything this trailer has an absolute ton of options on it Let's talk about it really quick. So again, it's a 17.9 outlaw conversion, 11 foot slide out. 
enclosed front end, dual hydraulic jacks, air ride suspension with the air dump, electric over hydraulic brakes, four horse that can convert into more of a stock trailer, pod, big seven cage in, on and on and on and on. It's got a lot of extras on it. So I'm gonna give you the stock to run it. Again, it's sold, unfortunately, but if you're like, that is the exact trailer I want, or I want that, but I wanna make this couple, couple little changes, just reference this stock number, 5N211-742. Again, it's a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star Stock LQ. Absolutely beautiful trailer. We're really excited for these customers to come in and, and walk through it in person and take it home and go enjoying it. So give us a call. Anybody in our sales team can help you out. We do take trade-ins, so if you're trading up, downsizing, we can help you out there. Delivery is available, we can look at options there, and we can help you out with financing. So that number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.